Hello everyone. So on August 2nd, Lilium held a Capitals Markets Day in which they provided an update on Lilium's technology, certification manufacturing plants, business model, and commercial relationships with established industry suppliers and infrastructure developers. They've also made two important announcements. First, they announced that they intend to enter into a 1 billion commercial deal and strategic alliance with leading Brazilian airline Azul. And their second announcement is that they have partnered with Custom Cells, the German manufacturer of customer specific lithium ion battery cells. What I would like to do in this video is review Lilium's Capital Markets Day presentation. Now, because their slide deck is quite long and I want to keep this video short, this will be a two part video. So, in this video, we'll take a closer look at their two announcements. We'll take a look at the pricing of their air taxi services, technical details of the aircraft. We'll take a look inside Lilium's jet cabin and we'll discuss their technology. In the next video, we'll take a closer look at their certification progress, their partners, suppliers and investors, their manufacturing strategy, commercial plan and finally financials and costs. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you are notified when the next video is out. Which reminds me, feel free to like, comment and share the video. That certainly helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Alright, now that we got it out of the way, let's take a look at the slide deck. They announced that Azul and Lilium have entered into a preliminary binding agreement contemplating a strategic alliance and aircraft order. Specifically, they anticipate a sell of 220 aircraft with a projected 1 billion deal value. The announcement states that Lilium plans to work with Azul to radically transform high-speed regional transportation in a country which sees close to 100 million domestic air passengers a year and is currently one of the world's leading civil helicopters and business aviation markets. The companies plan to negotiate the terms of the establishment of a co-branded network in Brazil. So that would be a business-to-business -business type of a model. As part of the commercial agreement, Lilium would intend to sell 220 aircraft for Azul to operate across the network expected to start in 2025 for an aggregate value of up to $1 billion US. And the strategic alliance and aircraft order with Azul remains subject to the parties finalizing commercial terms. Now, Azul would expect to operate and maintain the Lilium jet fleet, while Lilium would provide an aircraft health monitoring platform, replacement batteries, and other custom spare parts. Azul also expects to support Lilium with the necessary regulatory approval processes in Brazil for certification of the Lilium jet and any other required regulatory approvals. Okay, so that's, that's very important as well. Azul has the largest airline network in Brazil and David Nealman, the, the founder of Azul, also founded JetBlue, Breeze, WestJet and Morris Air. I think it is not unreasonable to believe that through this relationship with David Nealman, Lilium may also get into commercial agreements with these other companies. And let's not forget that Lilium already has commercial agreements with such companies as Ferrovia for 125 jets and 600 million in revenue. They also have existing commercial relationships in Germany with Lufthansa, Lux Aviation, and a number of airports. Under this existing commercial relationship, they expect to deploy 190 jets for a potential revenue of around $900 million. It is definitely very reassuring to see that they've been very successful in entering into commercial agreements around the world. Let's keep in mind that they plan to enter into operation in multiple regions in 2025. So they have plenty of time to enter into additional commercial partnerships. But they are on the right track. Now, their second announcement, which is just as important as the first announcement, is that they have partnered with Custom Cells, the German manufacturer of customer-specific lithium-ion battery cells. The media release states that Custom Cells, who supplies international aviation, automotive and military customers, including Porsche, 
will be one of Lilium's prime suppliers manufacturing lithium-ion batteries at scale. Utilizing Lilium's licensed technology, custom cells will industrialize battery cells for high-quality series production. Custom Cells, with, together with partner and equipment manufacturer MANS, offers one of the most modern battery cells production lines in Europe. Another cool thing about Custom Cells is that in June they announced the launch of a joint venture with Porsche to produce high-performance silicon anode batteries. And Porsche also recently participated in an investment round for Custom Cells. From a logistics point of view, having a production site for batteries and an assembly line for the jets in the same country. Well, I don't need to explain to you what that's a good thing, right? I think it's pretty obvious. And it looks that they've been collaborating on this project for more than 12 months. What else do we know about this deal? Well, we know that the battery capacity through this deal is secure at least until 2026. So I think now we have the complete picture in terms of their suppliers. Custom Cell will be providing the battery packs, Tori will be providing the composites, Honeywell the avionics and flight control system, and Acitori, is it Acitori or Acutori? I have no idea how to pronounce it, but in any case, it will be providing the wings, fuselage, and the structures. Now I think the rotors, they will be manufacturing in-house. So I think this is very important because in reality, manufacturing a prototype is relatively easy. Mass production is very difficult. And the fact that they have big suppliers on their side gives me confidence that they will get this thing up and running. And hopefully without major delays and complications. And here they give us a number of examples for the travel time, the time savings, and the cost per passenger between a number of locations. So, for example, a travel time between New York to Boston on Lilium Jet would take approximately 1 hour and 15 minutes. It would cost you $300 and it would save you around 2 hours if we compare it to an average trip by car. A trip from New York to JFK will take approximately five minutes and will separate you from $65 US. Now I can already envision what my comment section would look like. There would be those who would say that this is way too expensive. No one is going to use air taxi. I think there would be a very high demand for air taxi services. There is a big market for helicopter air taxis and EVTOLs will be a lot more affordable relative to helicopters so more people will be able to afford them. We also need to remember that as with any new technology, as the adoption of the technology increases, more and more EVTOL operators and manufacturers will get into the market. And this, of course, will drive the costs down. And I believe this will happen with EVTOLs as well. Of course, it will take years until we will see substantial cost reductions but it will happen or at least i believe it will i mean who wouldn't want to go from palm beach to miami in 20 minutes i know i would not having to deal with miami traffic would be beautiful but yeah 150 dollars that's that's not cheap but i think there would be plenty of people who would be willing to and able to spend that money to save one hour on commute in terms of technical specifications, there are no changes from what was communicated before. The max range is 155 miles or 250 kilometers. Max speed is 175 miles per hour or 281 kilometers per hour. It is a seven-seater jet, one seat for pilot and six for passengers. It is fully electric. It will have a lower noise profile than competitors. 60 decibels at 100 meters. In comparison, Jabit generates around 65 decibels at 100 meters on takeoff and landing and 40 decibels during cruise. Lilium's cabin looks very cool and very comfortable, certainly for short distance commutes. They promise lower vibration, smooth, pleasant ride. The jet will have six passenger seats, as mentioned before. 
In comparison, Jabi, Archer, and Vertical, they will have four passenger seats. So arguably, Lilium's unit economics are probably better than those of Jabi, Archer, and Vertical Aviation. They will also offer cargo jets, which will allow connecting inaccessible regions, offer additional flexibility. Due to its lower noise, it will also allow access to urban warehouses. They claim that due to its propeller redundancy, it will be safe enough to operate in cities. They claim that it offers the highest EVTOL cargo payload. I'm not entirely sure that that's the case. Beta Airspace, they also have a pretty big EVTOL. I'm not entirely sure if it's bigger than Lilium or not, but it's quite big. I do know that UPS already ordered a number of Beta Technologies EVTOLs. So there seem to be a demand for cargo EVTOLs. All right, I think this video is getting a bit long, so I will end it here. But in the second part, we will take a look at the technology, certification progress, the partners, manufacturing strategy, commercial plan, financials, and finally, the costs. All right, as always, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.